We thank God for his goodness today. We thank God for his love, his kind. And God is such an awesome God, and we just appreciate him for being who he is in our lives. We thank God for all the elders and ministers of the gospels, to all our missionaries. Let me say to all the saints of God, to our first lady, we thank God for you that are with us on YouTube and you that are with us on Facebook. We just thank God for your presence on tonight. Man, another opportunity that we can go forth in our midweek service, man, and we just want to talk to you for a little while. We just, we're just excited about Jesus on tonight. If you would look with me to the book of Luke, the 16th chapter, I want to look at verse 19 through 24. Luke, the 16th chapter, verses 19 through 24. There was a certain rich man was, which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day, every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dog came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes. Being in torment and seeing Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in the flame. I want to use for just a minute Living good, but dying bad. Living good, but dying bad. Hallelujah. It's so imperative that we be mindful of those that are less fortunate than us. A lot of times we get ours and we are content with what we have and never think to look about your neighbor that don't even have shoes on their feet. No food in their refrigerator, but we get caught up on what we have. But we have to have enough compassion in our hearts to bear the infirmities of the weak. To take the time and share with those that are in need. I don't care who you are, what much you have, it's going to come a time in your life that you're going to need somebody. So many are caught up in there in trying to live the good life. Listen, let me close. So many people are caught up in trying to live the good life, and there's nothing wrong with the good life. But you need to focus on the life that's good. Uh, I say you need to focus on the life that's good. There's no good life without a godly life. There are so many so that are focused on the final things in life, but you, you neglect to choose the giver of life. You can't live wrong and expect to die right. So you can't live wrong. Matter of fact, it's insanity to think that you can live wrong and die right. <laughs> the Bible said in Mark, just want to talk for a few minutes. The Bible said in Mark, the 8th chapter and verse 36, it said, For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? You can't live good, amen, and die wrong. <laughs> Hallelujah. So our focus should be, I'm living this life to live again. 
That's how folk ought to be living this life. If you don't live this life, then you're going to die. And if you, But if you live in this life, you'll be able to live again. But if you want to live good, you must first live God. Oh, I'm talking up in here. <laughs> I said if you want to live good, you must first live God. But you must, in order to live God, you've got to love God. You can't live God unless you love him and you desire to please him. You desire to seek his face and keep his covenant. For the Bible said, first seek ye the kingdom of God. How do we have to look? God is simply saying, if you seek my kingdom, all you need, all your need is already in my kingdom. You're looking for some things, but it's in the kingdom. Your joy is in the kingdom. Your peace is in the kingdom. But we learn how to operate. See, sometimes we get in the kingdom, but we don't operate in the kingdom. No sense of getting in there. He said, ye that dwell in, this, in that secret place. You got to learn. I can't just go around in and think I'm going to get the blessing. I have to learn how to maintain. I, I was reading this morning. The Bible said, labor to rest. I looked at it. He said, you want me to rest, but you want me to labor. What is it? He said, labor to rest. In other words, you fighting to stay afloat. You fighting, amen, to, to you know, troubles on your job. You fighting troubles in your home. He said, forget about fighting that. Fight to get in my rest, and I'll fight everything else. He said, the only fight I want you to have is to get in my rest. Fight for to get in my rest. The Bible said that, that there was a lame man that was lying at a gate called Beautiful. I want you to look at this. This man was at a gate called Beautiful, but he was too ugly to get in. I'm at a beautiful gate, but I'm too ugly to get in. Hallelujah. The Bible said he saw Peter and John, and he started expecting a part of the good life. He just something about this man, these men that I'm looking at, and he automatically started expecting the good life. But Peter let him know that the good life I don't have, but the God life I give unto you. If we can get the God life, amen, then we can have the good life. The Bible said he became healed and went home praising the Lord because what he needed was in God. Bible said in this particular lesson that I won't hold you long tonight, but I want us to look at a few things in this lesson. There was a rich man that lived a life of luxury. Seemed like that's all we're looking for in the church today. Everybody wants to, amen, all the luxury. But amen, if you're going to give me something, give me God. Because uh, I read the song, said I'd rather have Jesus than silver. And go, if you just got, if I only had one choice, give me Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible said there was a rich man that lived a life of luxury. He had the final, finest things in life. He wore the finest clothes. He feasted on big fancy meals. The Bible said he did it every day. Not just one or two days, but he ate good every day, amen, because he was rich. He feasted on the fancy meals, but he didn't have compassion in his heart. Man, the Bible teaches that if we don't have love, we just like a gong, hitting a, hitting a, a gong because there's nothing good without the love. No doubt he had people waiting on him, hand and feet, probably had a maid, and, and not only that, probably had... Hey man, a housekeeper and, and his own private chef. He probably had his own yard man, and he was living it up big time. And but he had, even though he was living it up big time, he had no time for God. You got to understand. You 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 going around said, "I praise God. It's all right." And you said all these things you do for God, but then how can you serve God unless you serve mankind? We got to learn how to serve our brother. We got so caught up in these days and time and our four and no more. We want to do, we good at doing what we want to do, amen. But when it comes to ministry, we've lost our way. The Bible said when you do it to the least of them, hmm, you've done it to me. 
So this man was, even though he was living good, he was setting himself up to die bad. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He was setting himself up to die bad. But you got to understand that after death, hallelujah, you got, you got to have a judgment, hallelujah. You can't change, amen, you can't change up in the middle of the stream, amen. However you die, that's what you're going to be. You can't die and decide, I'm going to get it right. So he was living good. Got a lot of folk, amen, not just worldly folk, but we got folk in the church. And no doubt, uh, amen, this man probably had his name on a church road. I remember when I was a teenager around 12 or 13 years old, somebody dropped a sign at our house. And they, because they thought we, they didn't know who was living in the house, they thought we was another group of people. So they left a, a, a brochure and it said that, do we want to join the clan? And then I said, well, I need to know what is the criteria. And he looked at the criteria. The first thing that was on that brochure, that you must be a born-again Christian. And the next thing that said, I hate all other races. And I was trying to figure out how can I be a born-again Christian and have hate in my heart. I don't realize they were just living good. But they were setting themselves up to die bad. For the Bible said when you do it to the least, you're doing it to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Probably felt no need to seek God because he didn't bless God. Never honored God. Didn't help the needy. Didn't have compassion. And therefore he did not have God. Caught up in being high and mighty, amen. He wanted everybody to see how he was living. There's so many of us, amen, you want all the big things because you want somebody to say something good. But if you don't say nothing good to me while I'm on this earth, all I want to hear him say, servant, well done. We've got to the point today, I'm just talking, I'm not going to preach tonight, but I just need somebody to understand that we have to change the way that we're trying to live. we got so many church folks that caught up into to the material things. Y'all don't act, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. we got so caught up, amen, in, in the fancy clothes and, and wearing the big hats, amen. Y'all ain't helping me today. We can't hardly praise it because the hats are getting bigger and bigger and wider and wider and everything. Everybody trying to see, amen, how pretty their hat going to be. Y'all ain't helping me. We've got diamond rings and we're coming to church to be seen. It look more like a fashion show than a service of worship. Oh, y'all ain't hipping me because I can't, I can't afford to get in the service, amen, because my hat too heavy and my, my, my shoes don't want to take the opportunity to scuff up my shoes, but you got to get to the point I come to worship God and I want to worship him with everything in me. I come to lift my hand. I come to praise. I didn't come for no talent show. I didn't come here for no fashion show, but I come to worship God. Bible said that there was a particular beggar named Lazarus. Uh, we looked at the rich man. We looked at him. We saw that he had everything. And when you look at him, amen, I, I know what people would think. I'd rather be him than him. Y'all ain't hipping me because while well, our flesh, we so caught up in all the big stuff. Let, let, don't get me wrong. I want the big stuff, but I want a bigger God than the stuff that I have. Uh, the, the Bible said there was a particular beggar. His name was Lazarus, a poor man in thy need of help. I need you to look for a minute because all of us have been in need. But I want you to understand. I just want to paint the picture tonight so you'll see how much need this man was in. Uh, this man, he, had, he was in need of help and he had no strength in his body. Somebody said, how you know he didn't have strength because the Bible said somebody had to carry him uh, to the gate. Uh, 
Hallelujah. I want you to think it's, uh, if you've never been to the point, I've been sick in my body when I couldn't even open my own medicine. I, I've been sick in my body when I couldn't even do things for myself and it just make you frustrated when you're used to doing for yourself. Amen. You know, you, it, it, it's all right to have friends that'll pick you up, but when you're used to driving yourself around, amen, it, it's a whole different story. I'd rather drive myself. I'm glad you don't mind picking me up. But I'd rather be able, amen, to help myself. This man had no strength in his body, and he was depending on other folk to make it through the day. Y'all ain't helping me. Hallelujah. Sometimes you look and say, I'm trying to see if I got enough to make it through the weekend. This man said, I just want to get through today. I don't even know it's the day my last day become. Amen. I hadn't had anything to eat in, in a few days, and if I can just get just a little bit of something to make it through the day. The Bible said they laid him at the gate uh, of the rich man because why would you put me at the gate of the rich man? Because it looks like if you got so much you ought to be able to spare just a little bit. Uh, can I just get a little bit? Uh, can I just get a little bit? Amen. Just a, just a biscuit and a, and a glass of water make me happy because it's been a long time since I had a little something. So the Bible said they laid him at the gate of the rich man. I got to paint the picture because I need somebody to see that this just wasn't a poor man. Hallelujah. But it's a man that was in real bad trouble. We are walking around. Some of you are looking and you see people. And because you don't see a man that they're hungry and they, they don't have food to eat and they don't have their driving car. But you haven't looked at their soul and realized they're in a their bad need. They need Jesus. So you keep going because they're looking like they look better than you so you keep passing them by but they in dire need of a word from the Lord this man was hungry not only was he hungry he was malnourished I wish I could talk up in here I just want to paint the picture today. He had sores all over his body, probably had infections, amen, breaking out all over his body. You know, nobody want a fool with him, probably had pus running out of his skin. And hallelujah, people probably, amen, felt like he had some type of leprosy, amen. So you know the people that took him there, amen, had to have some compassion for him. Matter of fact, the Bible lets me know that he was desperate for food, I wish I could paint this picture. I just want to talk about it for a little while. And man, then all of a sudden, he lost all of his pride. Brother Preacher, Brother Preacher, why, why, why do you say he lost all of his pride? He lost all of his pride because, amen, hallelujah, you have to be, amen, uh, lose your pride when you're at your all-time low and you begging for crumbs. Y'all ain't hipping me. It's one thing to ask your neighbor for a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, hallelujah, glory to God, but when you get to the point where you're just begging for crumbs, you have to lose all your pride. When you feel like if I can just get a crumb or uh, help me get through the day, if I can get a crumb here and a little crumb there, and I'll make it to the day you down to your very last, you're about to lose your mind, you hungry, you're hurting on the inside, and, and you're wondering if this day, if I don't get a little something, will I make it till tomorrow? He was at a point of death. I'm talking about this man. He was at a point of death. And he had nothing yet. He was surrounded by plenty. Oh, y'all ain't hipping me today. I said this man had nothing, but all around him was plenty. There was plenty of food to eat, plenty of water to drink. There was a bed to lay in. Everything he needed was in the inside of that gate. They laid him at the rich man gate, but the man didn't even have compassion to open his gate. He was hungry, but I can't get nothing to eat. I'm thirsty. I can't get nothing to drink. I feel like this may be my last day. I wish I could talk about it. He was at the point of death in there. Oh, we have nothing yet. We were surrounded by plenty. And then I was, wasn't, I was denied of any. 
Oh, y'all ain't helping me. Wouldn't give me nothing. Hope and hope. And listen, every time they brought me to the gate, I'm just trying to paint the picture today. I can imagine in my mind right now that every time they brought him to the gate, he said, maybe this is my lucky day. I didn't eat nothing yesterday. Didn't get, didn't get nothing. But maybe today if he see me, I'm a little weaker. I'm a little bro- more broken. Maybe today is the day that I can get a little piece of something. Huh? Hallelujah to eat, amen. Uh, it's like being out on the ocean in a boat uh, and you dying of thirst, but you can't drink the water because the water is salty. Y'all ain't hipping me, but I'm surrounded by water. What good? It does not matter if you take me to the grocery store and I ain't got no money to buy anything to eat. Uh, I'm just wondering if anybody ever been in a condition that if the Lord wouldn't have helped you, uh, what nobody could help you, your mama couldn't help you, your dad it couldn't help you but uh, by the grace of God oh I just want to talk for just a minute I just want to talk for a minute this man is hoping for just a little something I ain't trying to be big I ain't trying to be choosy because I've heard that beggars can't be choosy just give me a little something something I it don't matter if I like it just give me something to put on my stomach Hallelujah, glory. Can I talk for a few more minutes? The Bible lets me know that the only compassion that he had was from a dog. It's a bad situation when a dog got more compassion than a man. The dog went over and began to lick his sores. and That's the only relief he had from a dog licking his soul. Hallelujah, glory. How can a dog have more compassion than a rich man? I can tell you how when a rich man is lower than the dog. Y'all ain't going to help me tonight, hallelujah. For the dog constantly licked the beggar's sores. Uh, and I can seem like in my mind, I'm getting ready to quit tonight. Uh, but I can see in my mind, I can see this man while he laying there at the gate. And uh, no doubt I can see the rich man come out in his uh, fancy clothes. Uh, I can see him walking out on the porch and looking up in the sky and thinking about all of this in mind and you can not have any. Uh, I can see him with his head up proud uh, about his little possession uh, but I can see the rich the poor man uh, saying mister please uh, uh, y'all ain't gonna let me talk up in here mister 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 hallelujah I mean I know y'all it, it, listen some of you have been in a place uh, uh, that you had to beg uh, hallelujah I can see me I can see me if I was in a condition and I had children y'all ain't helping me hallelujah you couldn't have made me beg for me but if I had my children uh, and my children, I wish I had a parent up in here. And my baby had to get something. I might beg y'all ain't helping me. Hallelujah. But this man said, Mr. Mr., I'm not asking you for none of your caviar. I don't even care if you give me a bite of your lamb chopped. I'm not asking you for no shrimps. I can't get no help in here. I don't want no steak and potatoes. I'm not trying to even come in your house and eat at your table. I'm not asking you to fix me to go no gold plate. Uh, hallelujah. I'm just trying to get a little something in my hand. Uh, hallelujah. All I want is just a crumb. You can rake them in my hand. Uh, I wish I could talk up in here. Uh, I'm not even asking for your leftovers. Uh, not the food that you're about to throw away. Uh, I don't even have to come in your house. Uh, but just let your maid sweep up the crumbs on your floor. Uh, can you just let them sweep it up? You don't have to get it, put it in a dustpan, but can you just sweep up the crop that fell from your table? I wish I had somebody to help me tonight. Can you just let me listen, sir, sir? I don't even care if you sweep it out the house onto the ground. I just need the crumbs. Oh, y'all ain't gonna let me. Can I just have the crumbs that fall, that fall, that fall to the floor? But I need, I need you tonight to notice this rich man. He allowed Lazarus to be at his house. Y'all ain't helping me tonight because he enjoyed folk begging for his stuff. Hallelujah. A lot of folk like you to beg for the stuff. Uh, but why do you want me to beg if you're not going to give me uh, what I'm begging for? Uh, and he had clothes. Uh, his bowels of mercy. Uh, 
and he could have fed the multitude, but he would not feed one beggar. Can I talk up in here for just a little while? He was living good, but he didn't know that he was dying badly. The poor man died, and he went to Abraham's bosom. And then the rich man died, and in hell, he lifted up his eyes. And the Bible said, being tormented, I need you to see that the Bible said, he didn't say he was being torment, but he said torments. Y'all ain't hipping me. And the word torments is severe mental and physical torment. Now his mind is messed up because he believed a man can take a drop of water and that a drop of water can cool his tongue when he's burning down in hell. But I heard him ask the question. He said, Abraham, can you just let Lazarus stick his finger in the water that he might cool my tongue? On earth, he's feeling alive and looking down on others. But now he's looking up, wishing he had another chance. I come to tell you tonight, uh, don't let it be said too late. Uh, he lived good, uh, but he died bad. Uh, he cared. Uh, he said, Father, uh, Father Abraham, uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, have mercy uh, on me. Uh, and let Lazarus, uh, let Lazarus, uh, the one that I ignored, uh, would you let Lazarus, uh, the one that begged me uh, for the crumbs on the table, uh, would you let Lazarus, uh, the one that I mistreated, uh, would you just let Lazarus uh, dip the tip of his finger uh, in the water uh, that he would cool? Uh, you got to realize uh, the heat was so bad. Uh, the man had lost his mind. Uh, how can I dip water uh, on the tip of my finger uh, before it ever got to hell? Uh, it would have burned up. Uh, can I talk up in hell? Uh, but the Bible said uh, that he cried, uh, but it was too late. Uh, I stopped by tonight. Uh, I got to get ready to go. Uh, but I stopped by tonight uh, to let somebody know. Uh, Please, uh, don't let it be too late. Uh, please, uh, turn it around. Uh, I come back today uh, to tell the man, uh, to tell the woman, uh, to tell the boys, uh, and to tell the girls. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, oh, please, uh, don't let it be too late. Uh, he cried. I need somebody to understand that he lived good, but he died real bad. And God is calling us to live a holy life. Can I talk just a minute? You need to examine yourself. We got folk that's speaking in tongues. You thought it was all about not feeding nobody. But we got folk uh, that's speaking in tongue, uh, but won't even speak to your neighbor. Uh, God don't care nothing uh, about you speaking in tongues uh, when you can't speak to your neighbor. Uh, you got folk uh, that's speaking in tongue uh, and cussing like sailors. Uh, something is wrong uh, with your spirit. Uh, but I stopped by tonight uh, to let you know, please, oh, please, please, oh, please, don't let it be said too late. 
if you look around, you don't have to go to the street corner to find mess and confusion. When where do I need to go, preacher? Come to greater love. Y'all ain't hear me. We got mess in the church. We got mess out of the church. We got people in the church that don't want to do right. Come on. You're too busy trying to live it up. Complaining about being in church. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. We got folk doing what they want to do. But don't let it be said too late. You're robbing God. The Bible says, how would a man rob God? Do tithe and offering. You disobedient to leadership. And they bragging how good they live in. You might have a great big house and a fancy car. But if you don't have Jesus, you might be living good. But you're on your way to a dying hell. Could I get somebody to make up in your mind? I don't want to run all of my life and get to the end and not able to make it. Could I get somebody to just help me live well? Can I get somebody to help me let the world know that it's getting late in the evening and the sun is almost down. I just stopped by the night. I just stopped by the night to give you a warning that it's time to live God. It's time to turn it all around. It's time to love your brothers. It's time to love your sisters. It's time to get your life right. It's time to feed the hungry. It's time to clothe the naked. It's time the Bible said, the Bible said it was his goodness. Y'all ain't hear me. It was his goodness and his mercy. And I'm so glad that when I was towed up from the floor, it was Jesus laid his hand on me. I'm so glad when I was about to lose my mind. I found him to be a mind regulator. I'm so glad that when I was lost and I couldn't be found it was Jesus. It was Jesus. He had to read way down but he picked me up. I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad he's on my side. And I'm so glad I got a God that I can call on. And when I call him, I said, when I call him, I said, when I call, he answers me. I just come to tell you tonight. I come to tell you tonight. It's all right to live good. But you got to live God. Hallelujah. How many know he's getting ready? Time is winding up. I said, time is winding up. You got to get, you got to let go of the past. Yeah, you, you hurt my feeling in the third grade. But that was then. And this is now. Even if you, didn't, if you don't ask for forgiveness, I've already forgiven you. Because I can no longer be a slave to you. Hallelujah. Because I'm trying to get my life right. I'm trying to go to that place that I need to get to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I want you to just make up in your mind, wherever you are, I want you to re-examine yourself. I know, I know you've been doing good. I know you've been helping some folk. But can you, can you just examine yourself? Can I do better? And tonight, 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 we're going to pray. 
glory to God. We're going to pray that God loose us. What are we going to loosen for? From ourselves. Good God Almighty. There's some things, there's some things that you would have done, but yourself made wouldn't let you go. Anybody ever needed to get up and you just struggled to get up? Wasn't because you were sick. Yourself said, I just want to lay here a little while. But I got work to do. Hallelujah. Anybody ever knew what to do? Oh, y'all don't like to tell the truth. You knew what to do, but you did something else. And you didn't do it because you was in ignorant. You did it because you was persuaded by your flesh. But I stopped by today to let you know God is letting us know that it's wrong to have a free the food. And your brother hungry. That ain't helping me. It's wrong to have money in your pocket. And seeing the man on the street, all he wants is a mayonnaise sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. A piece of church's chicken. A McDonald's hamburger. You talking about you don't have but five dollars, but your refrigerator full. Tonight, we want to just ask God to condition our hearts. That's what we want to do tonight, because I need you to understand something, that it doesn't matter how saved you are. you dealing with a flesh on the inside of you. That same flesh that made Jesus say, move the cup. But he went to the word and he began to pray. And I need somebody tonight to just tell God, nevertheless, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> but nevertheless, <laughs> God, they done me wrong. <laughs> I need you to be honest with God tonight. <laughs> and I'm having a hard time when I see him. <laughs> I still speak to him, but I still feel uh, some type of way. I know y'all ain't going to be honest tonight. <laughs> God, I, if they ask me for something, I still do it. <laughs> But I still got a little feeling about uh, them doing it. <laughs> Matter of fact, the Lord, can I be honest with you? Y'all ought to just pray with me a little while. <laughs> Lord, can I just be honest with you? I really was hoping that I didn't even run into them. Uh, Y'all ain't, ain't going to tell the truth. <laughs> Dear Lord, I'm not trying to pretend that because I've been born again, <laughs> that I feel like doing all the right things. Matter of fact, God, I heard a song when I was a little boy, and I sung that song, but when I really thought about it, y'all ain't gonna let me pray. God, when I really thought about that song that the saints used to sing, it don't really go with my life. Cause they say I've been running a long time. And I haven't got tired yet. But God, I done got tired. But I just won't quit. I got tired. And I felt like doing in the time. So I can't say I've been running a long time. And I haven't got tired. But what I can say, I got tired. But I refuse to let go. I got time, but your word was in my bones, and it was like fire, and I couldn't let go. I got time, and I wanted to tell somebody a piece of my mind, but your word quickened me. I got time, and I felt like uh, using my hand, uh, but your word, uh, and I just talked about tonight, uh, I wish I had somebody uh, to just pray with me a little while, uh, I stopped by tonight uh, to tell you thank you uh, for your goodness uh, 
granny your mercy. I stopped by tonight uh, to ask you uh, to regulate my mind. I stopped by tonight uh, to be honest with you. I don't always uh, feel like friend. Uh, every now and then uh, I skip a fast or two. Uh, but here I am tonight. Uh, I'm asking you, Lord, uh, to get up in me. Uh, can you get up in me, God? Uh, I said, can you get up in me? Uh, because I'm nothing uh, and I'm just a nobody. Uh, I can't preach away. Uh, if you don't get up in me, uh, I'll get too weary. Uh, if you don't get up in me, uh, I wish I had uh, somebody to help me pray. Can you just be honest with him and just tell him I thank you for what you've done for me, but I'm still just a nobody just trying to do your will. But I get tired and I'm trying not to be weary because all around me I got folk talking about me. All around me me. People treat me bad all around me. Somebody trying to hold me down. But can I be honest with you? Every now and then I feel like walking away. But I thank you for your saving grace. I thank you because I could have been the man out on the street corner. I could have been the one uh, on drugs uh, and alcohol. Uh, I could have been uh, in a mental institution, uh, but your grace uh, and your mercy, uh, I can't get nobody uh, to pray with me a little while. Uh, I just want to thank you uh, for how you've been good to me, uh, how you spared my life, uh, how you kept me uh, when I couldn't keep myself. I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. Because when I said when I was driving down the highway and I fell asleep, it was your grace that took the stern wheel, touched me in my side. I just want to say thank you. Because some places that I've been in my life, I could have went in and didn't come out but it was your grace I wish I had a church that wouldn't try to play like they never been in sin but it was the Jesus that brought you out Lord you brought me out of darkness into a marvelous life I just want to say thank you thank you Lord that all the sickness uh, was not unto death. Uh, I want to thank you uh, that when uh, I lost my loved one, uh, I did not uh, lose my mind uh, because in the midst uh, of my heartache, uh, you was uh, walking with me. Uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, can I talk to you loud uh, every now and then? Uh, my mind uh, begin to stray away uh, every now and then uh, the enemy uh, get in my ear uh, try to make me feel uh, that I'm nothing uh, try to make me feel uh, I hadn't even been called uh, but can I uh, take a little minute uh, I can't get nobody uh, to pray with me uh, but can I to take a little minute and say thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the heartaches that you brought me through. Can I take a minute and say thank you for where you're taking me. Every now and then I get weary but I heard you say in your word that they that to wait upon the Lord. I'm telling you, Lord, I'm waiting on you. 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You said that if I wait, I shall mount up with wings of eagles. I shall run and not be weary. I shall walk, Lord, and not sing. Can I take a time? Take a little time. Say, thank you, Master. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, the Blessed One. Thank you, Majestic One. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord. And can I tell you, can I tell you, you didn't have to do it, but you did. You didn't have to do it, but I heard, can I pray a little while? I heard that you said that you would prepare a table in the presence of my enemies. I'm just telling you to do your word, do what you want to do. I'm trying to tell you if you need somebody, here I am, Michael Wayne Nation, here I am, send you me how you want to use me. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll do what you want me to do. But can I ask you, can I ask you, don't send me if you're not going with me because it ain't worth the trip. Don't send me if you're not going home. Don't send me. But if you want me to go, can you walk with me? Can you talk with me? And when I'm in trouble, would you hold me? Would you hold me? And Father, 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 I can't hear nobody praying but me. Father, I'm just telling you to let your will be done in my life. All I'm asking you, I wish I had somebody. All I'm asking you is just hold me in your arms. All I'm asking you to keep me in the center of your will. All I'm asking you is to hide me in your bosom. Don't let me stray. It get hard out here. I said it get hard out here. It get hard out here. Sometimes temptation. Y'all trying to act like you ain't never been tempted. Sometimes temptation trying to get the best of me. But I'm just asking you to help me lose my mind from the things that I got it on to your will, to your way, and to your word. Can I just ask you, can I ask you, Lord, to teach me? I, I know you call me. You said I'm a man. So I want to teach me how to be the man that you want me to be. I heard when you called me to be your preacher. I'm just telling you that I can't preach unless you get a hold to me. Unless I open my mouth and you speak for me. I'm just asking you. I want to pray y'all just a little while. I'm just asking you to get in my hand and let my hand be what you want them to be. You don't mind. I got two feet. Can you order my steps in your word? I want to give you my heart, Lord. Can you use it the way you want to use it? All I want to be is what you want me to be. But I can't move. Unless you move, I can't go unless you strengthen me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Tonight, I denounce everything that Satan's trying to do to the people of God. I denounce sickness in your body. I denounce. 
high blood pressure. I denounce cancer. I denounce low blood pressure. I denounce diabetes. I denounce thyroid trouble. I command your circulatory system to move like it ought to. I command your skeletal system to line up with the word. I command your household to line up with the word. And everything that the devil has ordered, I send it back to the pits of hell. I stop by just a little while to let you know enough is enough and now I shall victory victory somebody ought to praise it somebody ought to praise it somebody ought to praise it you ought to reach up and grab it you ought to get there you ought to agree with the word Hallelujah. Somebody ought to just agree with the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is our prayer tonight. 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 Prayer tonight. And we believe every word. We might not see it, but we believe it. We rest and we stepping on it. Because you said that heaven and earth shall pass away. But I heard you say your word will stand forever. And so we mounting up on your word. Because in your word, devil can't do us no harm. That's why, saints of God, that's why the devil always trying to come against your mind. He's trying to distract your mind. He wants you to think about your problems. He wants you to think about your heartaches. But I want you to picture yourself with a big tub of water and dunk yourself back in the water and said, I ain't coming up until God do what he's going to do. I don't have time for Satan to get in my ears. So I need you to block my ears from the voice of the devil. I don't have time for Satan to get in my eyes. So I want to keep my eyes on you. I don't have time to let Satan pull me back. Why don't you have time, preacher? Because somebody is waiting on me. Somebody need a word from me. Somebody need a word from you. Somebody is watching you. And you ought to tell God, help me to walk right. Help me to live right. Use me. I dare you to shout it out of your mouth. Use me in your service. Glory to God. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for his goodness. Thank God for his goodness. Thank God for his goodness. Thank God for you that are on Facebook, you that are on YouTube. I want to commend, I want to just encourage you to just sow. If you're watching this message and you believe God, I'm just challenging you to, to get a seed in your hand, in your heart. Hallelujah. I'm challenging you. Hallelujah. To get on your phones and send a seed. That seed just simply said, I believe that word. And I'm sowing in that word. May God bless you. May God keep you forever and ever. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Didn't you enjoy that powerful word on today? If you were blessed, tune in every Sunday morning via Facebook or YouTube. And don't forget, stay tuned for the announcements. The channel.